All right, let's talk about dishwashers and the heating element inside of a dishwasher. Does that heating element heat the water up while the machine is running? I was curious, I wasn't able to determine that from the documentation about it. So we decided to plug the dishwasher into a watt meter. Okay, we have a watt meter hooked up here and the machine is currently consuming 171 watts. Now, it's getting close to the end of the wash cycle, but um, while it was running, it was consuming around 690 watts whenever we were in the, in the main wash cycle. And I, I assume that there is a temperature sensitive switch inside of here someplace that will prevent the heating element from operating if the water is too hot. You know, I think that would be a safety feature they would have to include. Um, but right now, the water is obviously hot enough or the controls just aren't in the position to uh, activate the heat. But let's see if we can... All right, so now we're pumping the machine out. As you can see, it uses a little bit more power in order to pump the water out. And then we'll see what happens when it goes into the rinse cycle. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna begin another fill of water. Right now there's nothing running except for just the controls. The pump is off. All the other parts of the machine are turned off, waiting for it to start the water fill cycle here. We're only using 3.2 watts on just an idle, when everything's idle. Okay, now we're filling it up with water. The solenoid to fill with water uses about 11 watts. So it's hot water coming in from the water heater downstairs. And uh, we're gonna see if the machine actually adds heat to that water from the heating element on the bottom. Okay, so right now it is running just the circulator pump to move the water around in the, in the tub. So 170 watts just to pump the water uh, through the machine and spray all the dishes down. So we want to see if this 170 watts will increase uh, to try to um, heat the water up more. Okay, I had to kind of force it a little bit. I basically turned the machine off and put it back in the wash cycle. And here you can see that it's consuming 680 watts of power in the main wash cycle. Basically on this mechanical controller right in that position right there. So that tells you that the heating element, which is about 400 and so watts, has been energized in order to heat up the water beyond the temperature that it receives from the water heater. So yes, the, wash, the dishwasher does in fact heat the water, um, but depending on your machine, it may only be a 400 watt heater, which is not a very powerful heater. It's just enough to get it, you know, 10 to 15 degrees above the temperature of the water coming in from your water heater. So it helps to just boost it a little bit to give you a good wash. Now this obviously is a very basic dishwasher, which is the reason that I bought it. There's very little to really break here. You've got a mechanical timer with contacts that powers this whole machine and, and energizes the various components as needed. I don't use the heated dry feature, uh, but if you turn that on, when it gets down here, it energizes the heater again in just air with no water circulating to help evaporate moisture off of the dishes. But yeah, clearly it does in fact heat the water with the heating element. So it answers my question.